Hello everyone, I am Dr. Snehal Malakamir. I am Consultant Clinical Geneticist at Apollo Hospitals, Navi, Mumbai. Uh, clinical Genetics uh, is a specialty branch of medicine where it involves the diagnosis, management and counselling of people with genetic disorder or at increased risk of having genetic disease. Genetic diseases are usually caused by mutations in one gene or more than one gene or they might be resulting into uh, defects in chromosomes. The faculty of clinical genetics is rapidly expanding because we are getting uh, more and more insights into the research and diagnosis and there are emerging therapies which can precisely target the disease. So in genetics, we have uh, involvement of a multidisciplinary team right from uh, the basic uh, clinician to specialties and then involvement of the geneticist and the multidisciplinary team managing the de genetic disease. The person with genetic disorder either gets the defective genes from one or both the parents or it can be due to the faulty genes uh, after the embryo is formed, which we call it as de novo disease. Usually these diseases are diagnosed right from a thorough clinical examination, a detailed family history, pedigree analysis, then an array of testing which to confirm that clinical diagnosis and then comes the genetic testing. So it is a, it is a, a submergence of various uh, steps towards confirming the genetic disease and genetic test forms only a part of uh, the genetic diagnosis. Now the genetic diagnosis is important because sometimes it usually uh, the disease is not sure, the, the, the disease is not completely manifesting. The biochemical test or the test which are used for clinical diagnosis confirmation, they may not give a complete result. And also the diagnosis confirms the disease which helps in proper management because nowadays we are getting precise therapies for it. The genetic disease can be severe before birth or after birth. Before birth, what we call it as prenatal disorders, the disorders which manifest in utero with a stillbirth or a baby which has to be terminated because of multiple malformations or birth defects which are diagnosed at birth. Sometimes the disease may, may be compatible with life. Sometimes the babies, they are born with defects and they have a difficult life ahead. Apart from this, the genetic diagnosis can be, the genetic disease can be milder also. Sometimes it may present later in childhood like muscular dystrophies, like some neurological disorders, or sometimes it may be detected well into adulthood like Huntington's disease. In all this uh, spectrum of manifestations, we have to catch the disease earlier because sometimes earlier diagnosis prevents the complications and we can manage the disease better with presently available treatments. So it all depends on suspicion of genetic disease. A, diag a doctor can suspect a genetic disease in the patient depending on some of the physical features or if there is a family history of the similar disorder in the family or if there is a screening test like we have pregnancy tests where the screening indicates increased risk of genetic disorder or newborn screening or nowadays there are tests which indicate which themselves indicate that this is a genetic disorder at risk. So from all this, uh, from the knowledge gathered from all these testings or the clinical information, then the doctor may refer the, the patient as a patient of genetic disease. So it, come, it, it not only involves pregnancy and fetal disorders or a pediatric disorders and the myth that genetic disease always is associated with mental retardation or abnormality is also not true because many of the genetic disorders, they can only involve muscles like in muscular dystrophies. They may be only in neurological disorders or neuropathies. Some of the genetic diseases, they also involve hematology like aplastic anemia, thalassemia. Some of the diseases, they involve hepatic uh, uh, liver disorders. So all these disorders, they have specific treatments and nowadays because we have new drugs coming, pharmacogenomics coming where we have to know the genetic profile of the patient so that we can decrease the severity of the drug effects. Also we have treatments like liver transplants and cardiac transplant where you have to confirm the disease unless it is confirmed we cannot direct the patient for the specific therapy. So there are so many aspects of a genetic diagnosis and the management of genetic disease. 
So the patient referral for genetic consultation depends on uh, this array of uh, presenting symptoms of patients, depend on, depending on the aim of present, uh, referring the patient like if you have to confirm the disease which you have already diagnosed or you have to screen and counsel the family of the patient who is at increased risk or you have to prevent the disease in the next pregnancy or the decision has to be taken in the current pregnancy and the pregnancy choices for future have to be made or the diagnosis is helping for the better treatment of patient. Sometimes the treatment has to be tailored depending on the patient's diagnosis and every patient is different even if the diagnosis is the same or the disorder is same. So every patient has to get the tailored treatment depending on the severity of the symptoms, the availability of the options to the patient and financial state of the patient and also the complications at that point of time. So all this combines the overview of how clinical genetics places itself in multiple disciplines of medicine. The treatment options of many genetic disorders are evolving and we are battling with the treatment of genetic diseases. Few genetic disorders like metabolic disorders, they have, they can be managed. Sometimes they can be treated with specific drugs or they can be managed to prevent the complications and arrest the disease. But still many disorders, there is no specific treatment and we have to uh, rather manage complications and prevent the disease uh, in the family members. Also, prenatal diagnosis and currently pre-implantation genetic diagnosis are the options present before the family to choose from in case the severity of the genetic disease is uh, enough to have the uh, disease presenting in the pregnancy. Diagnostic modalities. The genetic disease is not only being diagnosed on karyotype or few genes, but now we can cover up multiple genes in one testing. So the disease diagnosis is also expanded. The spectrum has expanded and there are testings which are available uh, apart from sequencing and multiple gene sequencing which have to be applied depending on the diagnosis. So it is a time that uh, we should uh, recognize the significance of uh, genetic diagnosis and importance of this specialty in every aspect of medicine. And in, in case of any queries, any referrals, you can walk into Apollo Hospital's genetic clinic or ask your doctor uh, regarding more information about it. Thank you.